the question everybody's asking is how can you get 120 mile per hour club head speed I mean there's only one way to do it there's only one way that's to train for speed it's to create lag and it's to have loose body parts you cannot be tense if you're going to be hitting at 120 now I have not trained my golf swing now I have not trained my golf swing much I haven't been hitting many balls I could max out probably about 113 114 probably the last couple of years now I've been going to gym for the last eight weeks I've gone from a squat I started I started the squat at about 180 pounds now the squat is up to about 240 245 so I'm squatting I'm doing hip thrusts of about I think the hip thrusts are about 280 or 290 pound hip thrusts then I'm doing lunges I'm doing put you know overhead presses I'm doing twisting exercise all kind of thing with my trainer the same guy who trains Mo now I don't think I could have hit 120 mile per hour before even in my younger days the most I ever got was 117 so the big thing for me to hit 120 mile per hour was the strength work obviously if I could get more flexibility I think we could get even faster but I'm not very flexible very, not, my mobility is down in the hips and lower back region so if you sit all day in an office I don't advise you try to get 120 mile per hour either because you will injure yourself as I try, as I injure myself over the years one of the things you're going to need is you, you can't release you can't release the club up here that kills speed a lot of people swing like that they come there and they're like like that that you can't do it right you you have to you know you can turn the club upside down what I used to do as a kid and I used to go make sure that sound comes at the bottom of the swing instead of instead of there it needs to be down there you need to have loose wrists too you can't be you can't be tight you can't be tense you can't have four arms and shoulders that are that are very very tense you want to have a solid stance because you don't want to be swaying because you're weak if you're weak you're swaying because you're using your body English to get the ball up and that's what you can do if you want to get the extra distance but it doesn't help you so I like to just tilt so you start off square and then what I do is pull that right foot back a little tilt a bit that way so that ball is like I think it's on my armpit so I'm going to be hitting up on it okay hand can see two and a half knuckles there I wasn't seeing that before it was a very weak grip I could could only see half a knuckle so I've got more knuckle showing you want to loosen it up loosen it up that's why we waggle then you want to use those hips as well not just arms I was using all arms before but I think I found a way to bring the hips through which increases my speed even more so there we hit 119.9 that's about 120 ball speed 174 so smash factor came down a bit if you if you've got the speed it doesn't help if you're not striking it right because if you're not striking properly you're going to lose distance you're going to hit it all over the show so that's now on the golf course may be different right I'm just explaining for me what it is because I used to I used to think the swing was like there and then your wrist just take over so I do flip it a little bit but there's a lot of speed in the bottom of the swing I can say so look it's 120 mile per hour but that rotation thing from working out and getting more mobile because when I wanted to get here it was so tight here it was so tight it used to be sore so it's not tight here anymore I get tight here on the small glutes because I've been doing a lot of balancing exercises with pet so I'm a bit stiff from Sunday but that has definitely given me a more solid base to get that power going because if I don't have that base I have pain like you can't believe even at 110 mile per hour so we're going to do the same setup this time really focus on getting the hip started because I don't ever do that let's see how it looks on the video though see so we get to 120 again 
and it's carrying 300 and the ball speeds up because the smash factor is closer if you can get a smash factor of 1.52 um, that's going to be i think the perfect smash factor for a driver going to go long now if i could hit a driver like this i'd be a freaking professional so there's no obstructions so on a golf course am i going to swing at 120 i'm not sure the other, the other big factor I find for me is pain in the body, right? So I was sitting for a lot of time in the office and sitting down doing work at home, work from home. Then I go out and I start swinging at 110, start getting hurt, groin, lower back, hips. I'm going to the dry needle lady to put dry needles in me. She still does the lower back now. And sometimes the glutes now have been getting sore because I've been doing those th heavy thrusts. So I like to take care of that so I can keep training. Avoid the painkillers, okay? Don't, I mean, this is not, for, this is not medical advice, but uh, you've got to get that body sorted. You've got to get the body sorted. If you're sitting down in this position and you're sleeping in this position, you're going to be so tight here on these hip flexors, here, your little glute up here in your main glutes, your, 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 your muscles, your hamstrings, everything's going to be sore. So you can't get the speed. You can get the speed with flexibility and strength training. There is some technique you can do and getting fitted for the correct driver, the correct um, weight shaft. This shaft is only 60 grams. It's X-Flex. It's an uh, Asian spec, so it's slightly less than X. 10 degrees of uh, power in the ping head. It all comes down to your body, your training, your technique, your equipment. It's all working together if you want to get 120 mile per hour a club head speed. I, I'm, I'm honest with you now. I didn't even know I could get 120. I think I hit 123 the other day here with Bo. It shocked me. I've never been over 120. That's why I can show you now 120. And it's gym work. It's, it's, it's stretching. It's yoga. It's standing at the desk now. It's eating the correct food. It's taking the correct supplements, potassium, sodium, magnesium, and boron. These things are the magnesium especially, but you've got to get the right magnesium, okay? You've got to get the magnesium theonate, the magnesium um, citrate. You don't want the magnesium oxide. It just makes you shit, but it relaxes those muscles, helps you over the, the next day. You've got to be rolling those muscles with a roller. You've got to get that thing where it's sore. You've got to put the pressure on it, make the pain come. It'll release. You've got to get the dry needle, fix all the knots. You've got to stretch. You've got to exercise. You've got to get stronger. You've got to keep your body in this position more often than in this position working all the time it screws everything up sitting is the new smoking and if you can stop sitting you can probably pick up a few club head few a few mile per hour club head now here we go i'm going to give it an all out rip on the final one for this video now you want to be loose huh you can't be like fucking tight because when you get tight you release there and then you come through the wall and you stand up that's another thing standing up you lose so much power if you can keep it down like that, that's where all that power comes from, from the pros. That's what I'm trying to work toward. I'm going to try it again. And of course, you can actually pick up speed with a longer driver. I mean, the, the science is that if you hit something longer, the end of it is going to be going quicker than something shorter. I, I don't know if you, if you want to do that, but there's an option. Relax. Keep that head back, no sway forward. Hips, relaxed, noodle arms. Now that's big, but it's left. Yeah, you can see a little duck hooker. Duck hooker. So that's the problem with speed, okay? So let's say we're talking about speed. The problem with speed is if you miss it and your face angle goes minus 3.8, your face to path is minus 7.2, you're dead, okay? That ball is OB. So what's the point? So smash factor, great. Carry 228, roll 278 into Mrs. Smith's house. You ain't got your ball left. So you have to work out if you get that speed, which is the point. People will talk about their club head speed, their distance. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it's going into Mrs. Jones's house there into her petunias. It doesn't mean anything. We've got to keep it in play. But that's how you get the speed up. From there, you have to learn to control it. I can't help you. That's how it's done, 200, 120 mile. That's how it's done, 120 mile per hour club head speed. What does it mean? It means I'm probably gonna be sore tomorrow, but 